What's up guys, Crispy here. Today we're going to be making Happy Birthday Song in Scratch. So, you can see that there are multiple sections of code, but you don't see any section that has music. That's because you have to add an extension. So you have to click on Add an Extension. And we're going to choose Music. So you can see in the music, we have the Play Drum block. And you have the rest block, the play note, whatever you want it to be, and how many beats. Set the instrument to whatever you want it. Set the tempo to and change tempo by. So we're going to add a play note block and let's see how it goes. So it played note 60. So that's great. So we want to make the happy birthday song now so in order to do that we so this is how the there are four rows in order to create you have to make four rows of music in order to and we have to connect all of those rows together and then that's how the happy birthday song will become so the first row is going to be like this so note 62 times 62 one time, 60 once, and then 65, 64. So the first note's going to be 60, but this one's going to be repeated two times. So how this works is that there's going to be four rows of music, and then we're going to connect up all of those rows together at the end, and that's going to create the happy birthday song. So let's start with the first row by adding a play note 60 block. So the first row is going to be like this. So the first one is going to be 60, but we need to repeat this two times. So let's add a repeat loop. And set the number to 2. So now let's see how it goes. Alright, so that's great, but we want to add a set instrument to piano block on top of this, on top of all of the code that's underneath because it will be extra solid. So that way by any chance something goes wrong with the code and the instrument changes, then it will, not, that will not happen because we have a set instrument to block. So now let's duplicate this block and now set the second note to 62 because the second note is going to be 62 so now let's see how it goes all right so that's great so let's add our third note which is going to be 60 again but this time it's going to be repeated one time okay so we have to add a weight block in between these two. So let's add a weight block. Set the number to 0 0.3. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Alright, 0 0.3 is pretty good. So let's duplicate this again for our fourth note. 65. And let's just finish the row. So this note's going to be 64 so now let's see how it goes all right first row done second row now so we're gonna duplicate this row for the second row we just have to change these two notes so the uh third note's gonna be 67 and the last is gonna be 65 there's no 64 note in this row Alright, so now let's work on row, row number 3. Row number 3 is going to be pretty hard, so get ready guys. So we're going to duplicate this. We're not going to duplicate the set instrument to block. We're going to remove this when we connect all of the rows together. So, so the third row is going to be like this.
So there are going to be five notes in this row. So let's just duplicate this note and connect it underneath. So this note's going to be 60. The second note's going to be 69. 67. 65. 64. And 62. Guys, uh, my laptop's kind of lagging, so... Mine's gonna sound a little awkward, but I know your guy, yours is gonna work, so. Alright, so, now row number four. I'm gonna duplicate this. All right, so we don't need five notes for this row. We're going to need four notes. So this, the first note's now going to be 69. Second's going to be 67. The third one's going to be 64. And this one's going to be 65 and 64. So 69, 67, 64, 65, 64. So let's see how if it just if we need to add a weight block between the two rows. Yes, we do. So maybe one second will be good. So let's we'll we'll see how that goes. Yeah. One second is good. So let's add a wait seconds block on top and wait seconds underneath here. So now let's connect this here. We don't need a second in set instrument to piano. Let's remove this and connect this to here. So let's add a when flag click. And here's the moment of truth. So that's it. That's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. Send a comment down below on what you would like to learn in future videos. Hit the thumbs up and have a